This movie shows schematically the ongoing process when using a universal adhesive and self-edge mode featuring Futura Bond U. Here is an example of a carious lesion seen clinically in the enamel and radiographically with a typical spreading of the carious into the dentine. Using a water-cooled high-speed burr creates an opening in the carious lesion followed by removal of the carious with a slow-speed round burr. Rinsing the cavity to remove all debris and drying gently with air. Activation of the Futura Bond U blister by pressing firmly between thumb and forefinger. Breaking the seal of the protective foil with an applicator. Mixing until the liquid is homogeneous and completely wets the applicator. A closer look inside the bonding liquid shows the different components which are absolutely necessary to create a long-lasting adhesion between tooth substance and composite material. Acidic monomers are included in the mixture, which offer two different polarities in one molecule. On the one hand, a hydrophilic part. Hydrophilic means water laughing, which enables the connection to the tooth. On the other hand, a hydrophobic part, what means water repellent, which builds up the chemical connection to the composite. Furthermore, there are included cross-linking monomers that are responsible for the entire curing of the material. They are totally hydrophobic and connect the hydrophobic parts of the adhesive monomers as well as the hydrophobic composite material. Applying the Futura Bond U and completely wetting the entire cavity for 20 seconds. The initial acidic pH value rises during this process to a neutral level. Gently air drying, thus evaporating the solvents from the adhesive. Light curing of the adhesive layer for 10 seconds with a minimum of 500 mW per square centimeters. The main components of the two substances, dentine and enamel, react differently after the application of a universal adhesive used in self-edge mode. Let's rewind the video and have a closer look at the microscopic reaction of the adhesive on enamel as well as on dentine. The application of the acidic adhesive provides the very important etching pattern in the inorganic enamel. The drying of the solvent and the light curing will finish the process on enamel. The wetting of the dentine with the universal adhesive used in self-edge mode leads to some more complex reactions compared to enamel. During the initial acidic phase of the adhesive, the calcium on the outer cell phase of the two substances is dissolved. The dentine tubules are opened and the collagen fibers are exposed. The newly formed hybrid layer is now fixed by the gentle air drying of the solvent and light curing. Dentine tubules are reliably sealed by the adhesive which has penetrated them creating tags. By looking again at the process on molecular level, we will understand how the chemical mechanism of the connection between tooth substance and composite material works. Due to the preparation, there is a thin water layer on the tooth. 
Hydroxyapatite, the main component of the tooth, consists of calcium, phosphate and hydroxy ions. The adhesive is applied. For reasons of better clarity, only the first level is shown in the next step. Here, all components from the adhesive liquid are depicted. Once again for repetition, the acidic adhesive monomers, the cross-linking monomers and the solvents ethanol and water. During the step of rubbing in for 20 seconds, first of all the acid gets reactive. The protons dissociate and react with the hydroxy ions from hydroxyapatite to water. As a result, a first demineralization of the tooth substance takes place. The direct consequence is the dissolving of the outer surface calcium ions out of the hydroxyapatite by the existing water. The surface becomes roughened and the acidic monomers are now able to make a connection to the positively charged calcium ions out of the hydroxyapatite. During the process of drying for 5 seconds, the excess of solvent is removed and the molecules converge regarding their polarity. By this, the bonding layer gets very viscous. During the 10 seconds of light curing, the hydrophobic groups react with each other and build up the three-dimensional network. Here is it demonstrated in full dimension. After completing the very important adhesive application, a light curing filling material is applied in increments into the cavity. During the process of light curing this material, the adhesive connects by using its hydrophobic part with its free double bonds and with the free double bonds of the composite simultaneously. By adhering to the necessary light specifications and polymerization time, a strong adhesion is achieved between adhesive and composite material. Additional composite increments, which are carefully polymerized by light, complete the filling. The last increment is modeled following the anatomy of the tooth and polymerized after. Furthermore, and not shown here, would be occlusion control and a high gloss polishing to complete the restoration of the tooth.